Bitch, I love this hair. You should wear hair more often. I can't afford it. Leave a comment down below if Anjana should wear can hair. Can you guys tip me so I can buy them? <laughs> Thanks. Hello everyone, it's Angina and Rockam Sakura and welcome to a brand new episode of Fashion, Fashion Photo, Photo Review for Drag Race Philippines! Yay! <laughs> yeah, there we go. Spirit fingers. There we go. So today's episode is all about making over loved ones mm -hmm. and doing a makeover is really, really difficult. Makeover episodes are really difficult, especially somebody who you love or a family member because they always have an opinion. I and mean, at least they look like you. Right, In that's most true. senses of the word. In season one, it's actually the episode that I went home on, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I thought that we looked cute. Yeah. What about you? Do you make people over? Um, I've made over my boyfriend and I've done makeup on a couple of other people. But the thing with my makeup and like my style is it's hard to translate sometimes. Yeah. Not everyone wants to look like an anime clown. Yeah, that's true. And not everyone wants to shade their heads, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So the whole point of a makeover challenge is to kind of create a family resemblance. Mm -hmm. Same hair color, sure. same eye makeup, same silhouette or mm -hmm. fabric or whatever. I need to be able to like look at the two and say, oh my God, those two are relatives. Anyway, enough with the bullshit. Let's get right down to the runway that is twinning a makeover challenge for the people that they love. Tonight, we will witness our queens transform their loved ones into members of their drag families as they walk on the runway in their twinning looks. All right, so first up, we have Eva Laqueen and Luna Laqueen, her best friend. Ooh, I love a bestie makeover. Mm -hmm. Straight from the gates, they already have similar outfits, similar presentations in different colorways, uh -huh. which I love. It's a little bit of a caftan and a big kind of applique moment. A bottle. <laughs> she pulled it out of her butt. What is that? Oh, and a snack? <laughs> oh my God. I love it. Oh, Cute. okay. I was okay. wondering Here's if they were going to take off the caftans. The presentation is a little bit of a mess. The caftan look is together and it's cohesive. I can tell that they belong together. They mm -hmm. match. It's kind of ugly. And I don't know whether or not it's a cultural reference or not. When they started taking it off, I was excited because the first outfit is not my favorite. The second outfit though, they don't really match to me. Yeah, I actually like it less. Yeah. And the whole story between them two is them going out, drinking, partying, etc., mm -hmm. and having the time of their lives, which is great. I do like the caftans are the same in different colors. So I like that it's like green and yellow. I actually like those two colors together. And then I also like that this is like a rich blue with like sort of like a silver applique. And I do like that they're cohesive. They look like they're twinning and I like this versus like the little black dresses at the end when they revealed to it. Yeah. Those two I didn't like very much. Which is funny because a little black dress, the, the cut of the dress at the top is so different that it doesn't have this kind of family resemblance thing. Mm -hmm. It's also like two shades of green. Mm -hmm. Because of the presentation of the caftan and the dress revealed after it, I'm gonna give this a boot. I'm gonna give this one a boot as well. Up next, we have Silhouette and X Shadow. Ooh, very oh, strong presentation right yeah. out the gate. Yeah. Wow, family, the house already. They look like twins, but just different height. I love that they're different, but in the exact same silhouette. Their presentation of like stacking each other looks really good. This outfit is very well made. I love that the corset matches each of the fabric. The detail is really on point. It gives dimension no matter where you look at the light or dark. They also made sure that the elements of the colors in the fabric are placed meticulously so that you see them in all parts of the dress. I love the strong shoulder. I love the way that the dresses fit them. I love the boots that hit just right at the end mm -hmm. of the dresses. I love their faces. I love their hair. I know she loves a flat hair, but this is really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is a right flat hair because it lets them look sleek and futuristic. It's easy to match the hair, especially because they have very similar face shapes too. Mm -hmm. And it adds to the outfit because the shoulders are so big mm -hmm. that the sleeked hair doesn't take anything away from the silhouette. I don't know anything about hair. <laughs> <laughs> If this was you or me, I would be in the purple, you would be in the bright orange, I think. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's yeah. the one I was gonna pick. 
such an interesting color combination yeah. too. And they look like futuristic cyber twins. It's very futuristic, which I also really love, but it's also very now as far as like a lot of what we see in drag fashion. I'm gonna give this a toot. It's gonna be a toot for me too. Up next, we have Marina Summers and her sister, Marites Summers. Ooh, oh. Tropicana. Uh -huh. She's love still this. keeping up with that beachy vibe. I love that she has her. a theme this entire season. Looks really cool. They look like they're from the same fashion collection. Oh, look at this good presentation. Come on, selfies. <laughs> they look like they're showcasing their best assets, which is her sister's boobs and, and both of their legs. Stomach. They look like they come from the exact same fashion show. Spring Resort 2024. What I love is also it being cohesive and color story. There's so much more point of view in this. It's very well thought out. It's accessorized really well. I love that bell sleeve. I love that little shawl on her sister. I love the headbands. I love the tie up shoes. It's accessorized well. It fits them really well. It I feel like a lot of like, maybe like the sleeves or like the jacket could have been bigger and more exaggerated. Mm -hmm. I kind of wish it had a little bit more drama in it. I also love those shoes too. Yeah, I actually really love those Because sometimes <laughs> the lace up shoes can cut your legs and make them look like slouchy. Yeah. Make them look really short. Another thing you'll notice too is with Marina's dress, she doesn't have a cut square flat bottom. Mm -hmm. It's a V shape. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do like a flattering shape, a V shape is really important. So there's a V shape on the legs with the X's and there's a V shape on the dress. And there's a V shape in the halter top here. She has really good taste. She has a good eye for fashion. Yeah, she has really good taste. I really love Marina's point of view on all the runways that she's given so far. But overall, it's a toot. I'm going to give this one a toot. Up next, we have Bridge Ding and Tigga Ding. Tigga Ding, Tigga Ding, Tigga Ding, 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 Tigga Ding, Tigga Ding, Tigga Ding, Ding, Ding. Oh, wow, this is amazing. It's very mom daughter. Yeah. Or little girl at Ate. It does definitely read less twins, but more like they're twins, but didn't want to dress the same. I love this dress on Bridge Ding. Uh -huh. That bow in the front, that big A line that hits like right a little bit after the knee. Uh -huh. Very Christian Dior, very 50s. Even though it's so big, it doesn't lose like her shape or her femininity. I love the, the pigtails. It definitely reads like younger. I love the combination of the blue and the orange since blue and orange are complimentary colors. Yeah, they are. I really do like Brigadine's outfit. I think it looks great. It makes her skin look good. The hair with the outfit makes it look young and youthful. Now on the other side, we have Digading, and she's more of a mature interpretation of this outfit. I feel like there could have been more of a cinching with the blue waist that's there. Maybe make the belt a little bit thicker. Maybe have made it like a corset in the same color. I feel like the head wrap could have also been bigger. It would have been really campy and draggy. The other thing I appreciate is the use of the prints of the fabric. It has like smaller prints, bigger prints, smaller prints, which mm -hmm. adds a nice dimension. Because it can make it look really busy if it's all the same kind yeah. of density. In this case, they broke it up. So it gave it like different elements to look at. I love the way that it flows. It bounces. I love the way that it fits them actually. Mm -hmm. I don't mind the belt on the the turquoise for the cousin. I think that that's actually like the right size because it still gives her like an hourglass shape. Okay. It is a safe choice to go with something that wraps around for your makeover partner, like a robe or something. So it's a safe toot. Final thoughts would be a toot. All right, coming up next, we have Minty Fresh and Betty Fresh, <laughs> who is her sister. Oh, oh, fashion. Fashion, I ruching. Love a little ruffle moment. Uh, they use the same lace base. She tried to do the ruffle on the sleeve to match her ruffles all over her dress. Can you see this in the same fashion show? No, not at all. This is completely discombobulated and disconnected. I think they could be in the same fashion show, but at very different parts of the fashion show. I really wish that Minty Fresh had incorporated her green into her sister a bit more Like too. on the sleeve, right? Like that's a perfect opportunity to make those ruffles into that same green. Or maybe even made the bottom of her skirt like a pencil skirt with that same fabric. Mm -hmm. But definitely with the sleeves because it has that same kind of fabric. 
Or she could have taken off the green on hers to be more cohesive with the outfit. The makeup is very cohesive together. I wish that the bottom of the outfits matched a bit more because mm -hmm. she has boots and her sister has tights. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple of elements in silhouette that just they don't make sense or they just don't match up very well. There's a couple of smart elements that she used in order to keep the storyline together. She used the clips in her hair mm -hmm. to have them match a little bit. I wish that they both had heart earrings too. I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed because Minty Fresh looks really, really good. And the fashion that her sister has is not as elevated as hers. The sister looks gorgeous. Her makeup is really, really good. Her hair is done well. I just wish that the styling had been a little bit more oomphy. It looks like it was made with a little bit of like cheap tool and whatever lace was left over from her outfit. Singularly, I really like what Mint is wearing. Mm -hmm. I love the ruffles on the body. I love the ruffles on the skirt. The length of it is perfect. Mm -hmm. It fits her really well. I love the pink and white tights that she has. She has the fashion element down, but yeah. when we get into what the ask is, which is twinning, I feel like she sh sort of shorted her sister. Yeah, I think so too. Right, and she said, okay, well, what can I do to make it match me somehow to make sure that it looks like we're twinning? But for me, it's not as strong of a fashion statement as Minty is wearing. And because of that, then it loses the overall presentation and it makes both outfits for me just lacking. But what I will say is though, Minty paints very well and both of them mm -hmm. look very, very beautiful. I love that the hair color is the same, they're mm -hmm. red. And I love that they have clips as well. I agree about the accessories. One could have swapped one for the other. Also, the, the belt in the middle is kind of taking me out because there's no element that's really connecting that to Minty Fresh's outfit. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give this a boot. For me, this is going to have to be a boot. Up next, we have Precious Paula Nicole and her brother, Precious Chona Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a great presentation. So fun. They are fun. Even though these are two different things, much like what we saw with Marina, oh. they're still really cohesive. But this is definitely more drag. I love the way that the brother looks because her brother looks ecstatic. Uh. She looks really pretty, looks very happy to be in this makeup and to be with her brother. I mm -hmm. think that's really cute. I do think there is something lacking in the fashion for the brother. They do read like they're from the same era. The dress is a little bit safe. The way that it ruches up here is not too flattering. I feel like she could have had bigger breasts mm. to fill it out a bit more. I feel like the brother could have used some sort of train to kind of match the draping fabric that was on Precious Paula Nicole. And I think they do have a family resemblance. Mm -hmm. I do agree. The family resemblance is definitely there. What I do appreciate in these two outfits are the details in the draping. For Precious Paula, I love that deep V. I love it being short. I love how great this like one side train is off of mm -hmm. the shoulder. And then when you go to Precious Chona, I do see that it needs a little bit more fine tuning. I still do love that like draping right here where the chest is. The family resemblance is definitely there. It's not as far off to me with Minty Fresh and her sister yeah. versus Paula and her brother. This one's a little bit closer. There's a family resemblance, but look at the back of the brother's outfit. It's not too flattering. It's a little bit too low. Yeah, it that's needs true. something back there to zhuzh it up just a little bit or maybe even like a bow or a train or something to right. add some sort of fullness so that the back is a little bit more interesting. Like the thing is, it's like Paula looks great and there is still a resemblance of it being twinning or relatives, which I appreciate. I feel like there's elements in her sister, Precious Chana, that kind of was left out. I'm going to give it a soft Boot. Okay, a boot is a boot. It's a boot. No, a soft boot is a little lighter than a boot boot. <laughs> a kitten boot. I think it's cohesive enough and I feel like there's a little bit of elements that could be added, but I don't think it really puts it in the boot category for me, so I'm going to give it a soft tooth. Trend alert! Height differences. One is short, the other there is shorter. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's no tall people in the Philippines. There's no, no. tall people in Just the Philippines. Kidding. My cousins are tall. Our top two of the week is 
Zillowettes and X Shadow. Woo! They look so good. Very contemporary. Very chic. The presentation really yeah. sold it for me. I love the emotions that I got watching it come down the runway. It was also a great choice of color for both of the costumes. Yeah. Make sure you tune in on Wednesday for the semifinals. Available on Wild Presents Plus. Everywhere except in Canada where it's available on Crave. And... Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>